The companion rework has opened up so many doors to using many different companions with your everyday missions. But if there is one companion that I would argue is probably one of the top companions at the moment, and that is the Nautilus. Rest in peace to the Helios with the Deconstructor. The primed regen bug has been fixed, so no longer nuking with that companion. However, the damage is not reduced. It just has a lot less fire rate. I have recently done a top five companions video, part one. Part two is coming. I'm just waiting for maybe one more hotfix before I I do part two to see how the bond mods will change. In that video, I spoke about how amazing the Nautilus is, but I will say after using it a little, it is so much better than I thought. As always, a quick thank you for all of the members on my channel. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Now you may be asking why? Well, the Nautilus has a mod called Cordon. Cordon forces enemies within 30 meters of the target into clusters. So basically free crowd control and a free Magus anomaly. But there is one reason as to why it's so great. It can pull pretty much any enemy including Eximus units with Overguard. Now I know we already have so many ways of crowd controlling or making use of a pull ability like Ensnare, Mag's pull, Nidus' lava and so on and so on or just simply by using Magus Anomaly. However, just the simple fact that you can have your companion do it now and not really die as much because of all of the reworks, this means that you can free up a subsume slot maybe and subsume something else to get more damage out. Now the Cordon has a 15 second cooldown. Pair this with the new Manifold Bond mod which reduces the cooldowns of your companion abilities by three seconds for every enemy you kill with three or more unique status effects. With this mod, this ability will be procking a lot. Whether you are using a primer to make sure all the enemies have enough status effects or just by using a high status weapon, this isn't difficult to achieve. The Nautilus is a Railjack companion. I know, a little tedious to obtain, but worth it in every way. You can get the blueprints in points of interest and of a vector defense from rotation B plus C in Neptune Proxima missions. The Nautilus's parts are tradable, so you can maybe just buy it with platinum if you don't feel like farming it. Pairing the Nautilus with frames that heavily benefit from a pool mechanic is honestly one of the most satisfying things ever. Protea with her heat turrets, the Garth with her horses, Baruch with the Serene Storm, Trinity with Marked for Death, Bolt with Discharge, the new Hydroid with his first ability, and my personal favorite, Atlas, using the One Punch Man build utilizing the ceramic dagger as a stat stick. There are a few more, but you get where I'm coming from. Any frame that benefits from having enemies close together and pulled in will just, you'll just smile. And I will reiterate this, it pulls in Eximus units. The only thing it doesn't pull in is demolishers and acolytes. When it comes to the build, well, it's expensive, but five former for the setup that I run. We go Cordon, obviously. You remember you want to put Cordon in the top left so that it procs first. Then Primed Animal Instinct for quality of life. This is flexible. Manifold Bond to reduce our cooldowns with Cordon. Synth Deconstruct for more health orb drops and assault mode for our companion to attack enemies. Primed regen for lower napping times and invulnerability when you revive them. Accelerated deflection for more faster recharge and calculated redirection for more shield. We also go guardian to help us with our shield gating because manifold bond also affects guardian which has a 30 second cooldown. So in theory you'll need to kill 10 enemies to reset the cooldown which is not a problem because you're going to be grouping up the enemies anyway. Vacuum is a must have there's just no doubt about it. And that is the build. The reason we use assault mode is because we make use of the Hullstrom which is a rocket weapon. Now we mod this for gas and primed firestorm so when we pull all the enemies in we are able to damage all of them at once with our gas clouds because all you need is your companion to do damage to as many enemies as possible thus proccing the synth deconstruct mod which is 25% for enemies to drop a health orb when damaged by your companion. So pairing this mod with Equilibrium is just very, very strong. I can't tell you how much I love this companion at the moment. It's definitely my favorite because it's an absolute joke how often this pulls enemies in and it's basically just brings the fight to you. You can realistically just use a high attack speed melee and just hold down E with the new auto melee and laugh as everything dies. You can also go reinforced bond to reload your weapon and give your companion overshields if you'd like. Or you could just use a bond mod that reduces your napping time drastically, like aerial bond. My favorite setup to use with the Nautilus is Atlas, which I mentioned earlier. Here is the build that I run for his first ability, and then we also use this build for the ceramic dagger as the stat stick. It is so much fun to use his first ability and punch your way through groups of enemies. I also enjoy Protea with her turrets, and of course Baruch with the slide attack, nothing beats it. I don't think this is overpowered in my opinion, we already have means of pulling enemies in, I don't think it needs to be adjusted. Or nerfed that is my opinion though i think it's just really fun to use and makes endurance missions quite fun to play 
I'm confident that the Nautilus is probably one of the best companions right now. Do you agree with me or don't you agree with me? I'd be interested to hear, so let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your viewpoints on this. Anyway, I wanted to give the Nautilus the spotlight as it deserves it. It is also a decent railjack buddy with the Auto Omni mod that repairs your railjack. And that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this. Just a quick video. I will see you all in the next one.